G'day everyone, welcome to another set of Alliance War videos. This is Governor here from the Pirate Horde, and in this war we've got um, TPH facing off against Romania Band of Brothers. Um, you can see there the war is fairly close overall at the moment, 54 or 5.4 thousand playing 5.1. Um, in terms of flags left, it's 19 on our side versus 21 on their side, so they do have two additional flags um, <coughs> to our remaining ones. However, we've got a couple players that have some RL stuff going on, so they might not actually be available to use their flags. So um, at this stage, it could still go either direction. Um, war scores wise, we've got 98.3 and their score is 96.8. So a bit of a skewing towards our side of things, which is also reflected on the battlefield where we've got 30 players on the battlefield and they have 28. So we did come into this war with a 12 flag advantage and a little bit more on the points as well but they are definitely holding their own at this stage, so um, it could go either way. Um, I was just holding up their um, board flip just before, so they had a three attempt on me to flip the board and got there with the third, third attempt. So anyway, I'm going to jump straight into these flags. They're using blue tanks like most other alliances are at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right in because there's only 19 teams left. I'm not too worried about selecting targets based on, on the heroes that are left. Um, there's not any which have a double reviving setup uh, on the board at this point. Um, so I don't have to worry about picking on them. So we're just gonna jump straight in. So I'm gonna start off with Lycant here. Um, yeah, just dive straight in. So I'm going with my green team. Um, may as well get my, oops, we know who hair wear is. We get the green team out and over and done with straight off the bat. Um, so we grab you and where's Melter? Melter was up a bit, wasn't he? Melter. All right. Switch dodge gun over to you. And there we go. So 600 TP difference between the two teams. Um, but with mono attacks, that doesn't make too much of an impact overall. All right, so you can see there's a couple options straight off the bat on what move to make first. I'm probably gonna make this green-red match here because it's going to put a match five onto the tank as well as do a 2x multiply, um, which will give me 1.1 1 .1, uh, attack. So there we go, got that out of the way and we had a nice little cascade following on. For the next move, I'm probably gonna make yellow-purple here just to move some tiles around. Just like that, hopefully get some more green tiles onto the board. Um, and now that I've got everyone charged, I can just start mashing special skills. So we'll attack right hand side um, with the silence and then just fire away left. Charge everyone up again. Pretty well everyone anyway. I didn't worry so much about charge blocking the left hand side because Melt is now going to steal the healing um, that Zidane just gave, but I will charge block them this time. And fire off another set of Melter. Double attack on Hairwear with the first target of Emma. Hopefully he gets a little bit more damage. Um, run out of tiles to make the green, so we'll just do some cascading. Um, go left side again, seeing as he's still got that charge block ailment on. Pick up one green tile. And then a cascade with no more green tiles in it. Right, make our little grenade at the top there. Have some tiles flow out of it. Not too worried if Hairware does charge at this stage, which he's going to die anyway because I had most of my special skill charge. So there you go. First one done and done. Nice win to kick us off. Um, all right, so we'll just move straight on. I'll get Lady D next. Um, next one down. So going on her. Um, with a booster tank, I'm going to go with my yellow team because my yellow team has this little lady in it. And you can see there, the second one of her special skill says, destroys all minions from target enemies. So three enemies when help, uh, sorry, when um, Ember fires, lose all of their minions, which is good against a minion maker like we have in Booster. So get that on there, that on there. And we'll grab Terminus. No, we're not going to grab Terminus because I'm not actually finding him overly useful in this team. We'll go with Sabotai instead. 
and we'll give him the tris vector. Actually, we might give these guns this way around. And you can have the second dodge gun as a four star hero. All right, go with this. So less of a TP difference because I've got a bit more emblems on my yellow team than I do on my green team. All right, so I got a couple yellow tiles on the board straight away, but they're not really in a great matchable position. So I'm gonna make this green match first, which promoted the yellow tiles into a better spot for getting a grenade, which I then managed to get onto the board. I'm not gonna pop my grenade just yet. I'm gonna make this match first, which will clear out some tiles and give me another yellow match, which should kill Booster off, which is great. Now at this stage, make this red match to pop the purple hand grenade. Try and get some more yellow tiles back onto the board before firing my yellow grenade. Um, keep the fired off, which is unfortunate. So we'll get double tie up, get a bit of healing via the shield, the armor there. Tap right hand side to try and kill this healer off, which I can now do. And then go right again, you remember. And not quite enough tiles onto the board to charge anyone up. So that's the power of Sabotai there. That was his um, counter, or not counter attack, but his ability that sent all that damage the way of Pipluck there when she fired her special skill off. Um, so I'll just bring his card up so you can see there, all allies get 53% chance to perform a support attack against the enemy that uses an offensive special skill. So Pipluck there just used her offensive special skill. My team found it very offensive and retaliated with a whole bunch of support attacks back at her. Um, so you can see at this stage there's no revivers, there's a healer on the board, but they're not going to be able to do too much in this position, so this battle is nice and one for me. So there you go. Two from two. So you got Lady D dead, Lycan dead. Um, next one we'll go after their tank punisher. Uh, sorry, not their tank, their boss, because I always like putting the boss in his box. Um, so we'll go with yellow for this one. So we've got Ksenia, Brock. And we've got Ridge and Blair when I find them. Ridge, Blair, and then we're going to use our 4-80 Jocosta. Um, we'll give Blair an attack gun. Ridge an attack gun. This one. And Joe a speed gun. All right, go with that then. All right, a good board, even though it doesn't look like it is great because of the tiles that are on it, but I can make this green grenade, which will then propagate into a red match four, which I can now fire off. Um, that makes some yellow tiles and Everything else disappear. All right, I was just looking to try to get another red map to cascade in, but it didn't happen. So we'll make our red map four, kill off one of the healers, tap there, Blair first, and then Ridge. Ridge probably gonna hit stone on the left-hand side, which is all right. So just looking for some more red tiles, which we've got there. use Joe and then Senya. Get lots of healing. And we'll use Blair followed by Rock. And we've just got the tank left who is doing his thing. So you can see this is Maverick as a tank. He's not great. Um, I typically personally don't rate snipers very highly as being tanks in um, any situations because you can see there I basically left 
Maverick all on his own. He kind of did his own thing. Even when he attacked me, he was only attacking one, maybe two enemies, um, which, you know, in the scheme of things, isn't really doing me too much damage. Um, in that situation, even though he's a five star with five class talents on him, uh, probably a more effective tank would be one like Bridget here, who is a little bit under, probably flies under the radar a lot more. Um, but her benefit is, is that she cleanses and adds the armor to all allies versus Mav, who's doing a bit of damage to one enemy. So that's all right. So we've got three flags left. Um, so we got Punisher, Lady D, Gobby. Um, going to go after Krizat next, who's a got a reviver in there. Um, so we'll go with our, go with purple for this one. So we got Talon, Bunny Hop, two Night Owls, and then also El Coyote. We'll give the Dodge Gun to Coyote, the two crit weapons to... Uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Really? So we'll go with that. Um, yeah, so Bunny Hop there, she's recently maxed, and I gave her a couple Emblem Talents as well. I'll probably push her to about plus four and then pause um, while I reevaluate some other options. So, no immediate purple match, which is good. So, we'll make our green grenado first, followed by our purple match onto the yellow hero, Goldman. Followed up finally by this green match on the left, uh, purple match, sorry, on the left hand side. So, what that's done is it's sort of shuffled a whole bunch of tiles around nicely. Um, got me some charge onto my heroes, not enough to charge everyone to full, but enough to dig out some damage, so double tap here with our two, my two night owls on the tank, and then we'll fire off um, Coyote next, and then I don't really want to fire Bonnie Hop yet, because she gets, if you read her skill there, she deals an additional 146% damage when hitting a target with poison. So. It, at the moment, nobody there has poison ailment on them, but Talon's minions deal out poison damage. So you can see the second line there, the minion poisons the target for 129 damage over three turns. So I'm going to wait a turn for the minions to hit someone. Hopefully Talon, uh, sorry, well, she does, but I was hoping that she, Bunny Hop, wouldn't get hit by Xavier, because then she wouldn't lose her charge. But that's all right, we'll charge her up now. And we'll hit probably, we hit Emma, because she's got more charge, and we miss, thanks to Xavier. Mm. Nice purple cascade come in. Fires again. Do this purple match onto Emma with a second purple match, which is just as well, because the... Uh, we'll just mash special skills and kill off Xavier. So... Right, four from four so far. We've got two targets left. So I've got my mono blue team and my second green team is what I'll probably use. So we'll go after Shadow next. 4400 team here. So I probably shouldn't have left this one for blue, but that's all right. We'll go in with it anyway. So we got face off, Perla. Jackrabbit, and then we'll also grab probably Pantera. We'll go Shocker. Shocker can have the dodge gun, crit, bleed, bleed can go onto you. Crit, and we'll swap this one over so you get the speed gun. Alright, there we go. So I'd like a match three underneath Ksenia on the left hand side to start things off because then I don't have to worry about a reviver. No blue match on the left hand side under Ksenia. So we've got a red match up the middle. And then we'll make this green match which will flow into the blue match. But I'm not getting many blue tiles to flow in afterwards. Um, blue match up the middle. Puff match, ghosting tiles. Yellow match, ghosting tiles. And now we've got a 
blue ghost tiles up the middle as well, which will charge everyone's special skills. So we'll start off with Perla, and then I'll charge Gloss to the left. Evade, which is unfortunate. I'm just looking for some more blue tiles now. But I'm not really getting many, which is unfortunate. Just going for a big cascade, clear out a lot of tiles. And I got, I think, two blue ones back in. I need some more blue tiles so I can try to kill the Sen... Oh, this is getting bad now. This is getting very badly. Hmm. No blue tiles. Anywhere in sight. And I think I'm going to come out of this with very few points indeed. Um, and the next turn I could have killed Ksenia. 20 points. 20 points for that. Ruin me run. Thanks for that shadow. Alright, so there's at least a clean up there. It's probably not going to be an easy one, unfortunately. So, just see who's available, if they take it or not, but either or either, just there if someone does want it, so. Alright, final team, gonna go after Gobby Go here, 39 points, and a nice tank for a secondary green team. So we'll just scroll, 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 there we go. Green, so we've got two Zuris, Ox, Wyatt, and then Hairware. Give the dodge gun here on the left. That's all set up, ready to go. Alright. There's a lot of green tiles there, so... Make my green grenade to start off with. And then make a match on the left, pop off my grenade next. Charge block the left hand side there. Charge. Cascade this into a yellow one, which had another green match match in. Double tap left, followed by my yellow grenado. With more green tiles coming in. This is just a, a dream green board at this stage. And there's a this is ridiculous almost. Absolutely ridiculous. Um just never ending special skills. I don't think there was really a way I could have lost that battle if I tried. Um, short of fleeing it, so um, that was an unbelievable board. Alright, well there you have it. I made top of the pile at the moment on the horde side of things. There is still, if I'd gotten that kill, there was another 36, 37 points available there which would have put me to top of the top, but not to be for this war. So, um, still 11 flags on our side, 18 on theirs, um, at 18 flags remaining, and a 600. Um, so they need to score 33 points on average for the remaining 18 flags just to catch us, and that's if we don't use any points. So I'm reasonably comfortable at this stage, but... They did just reset the board, so there are a fair number of the easier points available there. Um, so we'll just wait and see. But for now, it looks like this one's going towards our favour. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, and as always, chuck the video a like and hit a subscribe if you haven't done so already to see some more content like this. But I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers. Bye.